everyone, Mike Christopher here. Today I thought we'd talk a little bit about rechargeable batteries because if you're into photography, chances are you're going through batteries. And if you've not made the investment into rechargeable batteries, you really should because you're going to save yourself a whole bunch of money. Um, typically we go through the double A's and the triple A's. Uh, double A's for your speed lights, triple A's usually for like your remote triggers. And so I want to talk a little bit about how to maintain them and how to get the maximum life out of them. I'm going to recommend some product here that I think will help you because they've benefited me and kind of explain why I think it's going to help you. Um, there's several different brands of rechargeable batteries out there. Probably the most popular is the Inloop, uh, E-N-E-L-O-O-P. Um, I use a lot of those. I also have some Duracell ones that I've used and I've had good luck with those. For around the house, I actually picked up about a year ago um, some Amazon rechargeable ones and I'll be honest with you, they have worked great. Um, I use them around my house all the time uh, so I don't have to buy any batteries at all for anything I use. What I do, and no matter what brand you decide to go with, what I would recommend doing is in lots of four, because that's typically what a speed light takes is, is four batteries, what I do is I mark them. I put a little label on them. And the label, I know you can't see it, but the label is, is what month and what year I put them into service or purchased them, followed by like a dash one, dash two, dash three, dash four. That way, if you're throwing them in your bag when you go to pull them out, you know which ones go together. And so you can keep them together and use them together through their whole life. I think you're going to get a lot better lifespan. That way you're not mixing a brand new one with one that's one or two years old. Um, you're going to get a better lifespan out of them. When it comes to recharging them, typically a lot of them come with these little wall units. And so what you do is you put your batteries in there. It's got a little flip down thing and plug it in. Some of them have one light, this one happens to have two lights, and when the little light comes on it says, hey, I'm done, take me out, use me up. The problem with these are that little light, when it comes on, when it says, hey, I'm, I'm charged, I'm ready to go, well, what it's doing is it's monitoring, or not really monitoring, it's watching all four slots. So it's almost like a race, and the first battery that says, I'm charged, I'm good to go, it says, you know what, if you're charged, you're all charged. So I'm gonna shut down, I'm, I'm not gonna keep charging anymore. And so you may have a battery that's not getting fully charged and that's how you start getting short life on your batteries. They get that, that what they call that short cycle, that short life cycle, um, because you're not completely draining them, completely charging them. This one happens to have two lights, so it's monitoring these two bays and then these two bays, so it's a little bit better. But really the best way to go is get something like this. If you know, It doesn't have to be this brand. This is the one I recommend though. Uh, this is probably one of the more popular ones, I think. Uh, it's made by PowerMax. It's the MH8, or I'm sorry, MHC801D. Uh, this is a little bit more the top of the line model. They make some other ones. Um, if you're going to spend the money, maybe try to save up and, and get a little bit nicer one if you can. I don't, I'll be honest with you, I don't remember how much I paid for this. I've had it for over a year now. Um, the reason these are great is this is what the unit actually looks like. And the reason these are so great is what this does is this monitors every single slot individually. And it'll hold up to eight batteries. And you can mix and match. I can do double A's and triple A's at the same time, which I've, I've often done. And it'll watch the condition of each battery. So if battery number three is the first one to charge, it's going to say, okay, fine. And it'll quit charging battery number three. But it's going to continue to charge all the other ones until they're ready to go, which is really great because that way you're going to get that maximum charge out of each one and you're going to be working each battery the way it should. The default setting on this is rapid charge. So if you just plug it in, put a battery in and let it go, it's gonna charge in about one to two hours. It's gonna give you a real rapid charge. So if you need batteries quick, it's, it's great for that. And that's one of the reasons to get the upgraded model is it does rapid charge a little faster than their other models, um, almost twice as fast as some of the other models. 
But it also has some other features on here that are really great. It's got what they call a soft charge, and that's going to be more of a trickle charge. And so when you put these in, it's going to give it a nice slow charge. Because every, if you use a rapid charge, which is essentially what this is doing, it's giving you a rapid charge every time, you're going to shorten the cycle of, uh, I'm sorry, you're going to shorten the life of your battery. Um, you just, it's just not meant to be that real heavy rapid charge every time. If you trickle charge them, you're going to extend that life quite a bit more and you're, you're going to get more value for your money. But the really great thing about this one is it's got a conditioning charge. Some people call it a recycle charge. Um, what you want to do for those is you want to just get in the habit, no matter how you load these, always go from left to right. Because that's just the way this, the computer kind of works in here. So if you put the, a battery in the left one, so we'll just grab a battery here real quick. Put it in the left one. And the first thing you want to do is within five to 10 seconds, you hit that conditioning button and you're going to see a little condition pop up. And then what that's going to do is that's going to put it, well, it, let me take that back. You're going to see it go into conditioning mode and then you can load other batteries after that. Um, and what that does is it puts a little charge into the battery in case it's completely dead but then it completely drains the battery all the way down and then it completely charges it all the way back up. So you give that battery the full cycle, all the way down, all the way up. What's really great about this is sometimes, you know, I've used my speed lights, my batteries are like half charged in my speed light. I don't really wanna to go to a brand new session where I've got a half charged speed light, but I don't, want to just recharge and rapid charge those because they're only half charged and that's going to give them a memory. Well, this is going to allow me to bring it all the way down and bring it all the way up and condition that battery so I'm not harming it and I'm getting a full charge when I go out the next day. It does take some time, so that's not going to be something you can rapidly do or you're going to want to do the day of your shoot. You're going to want to do that the night before. Um, the way it works, it's, it's got this pretty clunky cord that goes with it. It's got a big transformer on it. So you need some space to set this out and plug it in. And it is, I'll be honest with you, it's, it's pretty bright at night if you uh, are a light sensitive person and this is going to be in the same room you sleep. Uh, you may not want to do that. But this thing is awesome. This thing works great. My batteries, I get so much life out of them. And so I really want to recommend this. I really just wanted to talk a little bit about batteries and recharging and just getting the maximum value that you can. So I hope you got something out of it. Please like, please subscribe, and have a great day. Thanks.